Hey everyone, welcome to Aragon Haven, your Aragon Hotspot. Today we are going to be doing another review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Crossman Vigilante CR357-177 Dual Ammo Air Revolver. We're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to Aragon Haven, your Aragon Hotspot. My name is Aaron. Today we are going to be reviewing the Crossman Vigilante CR357-177 Dual Ammo Air Revolver. That's a mouthful to say. You know, it does feel like it's been a while since I've, you know, done a tabletop review that I don't know if I recently did one. I don't think so. The last one that I did was before Easter, I think. So, you know, it has been a little while since I did, you know, a tabletop. But as always, guys, if you guys are new here, you know, please consider subscribing, you know, for more air gun content, you know, because this may be content you need to see or want to see. And as always, if you guys do want to help support the content that I create, you can do so for as little as $4.99 a month. Um, we're going to do this how we've done all the other tabletop reviews. I am going to go ahead and open this up here for you guys. It does come in this box right here. You guys can see we're going to go ahead and open it up. And you've got the revolver, which is on safe. And you've got the two rotary mags here. Um, as always, I um, want to get disclaimers before we start. You know, this gun is on is on safe and will remain that way for the entire video. Um, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the um, specifications here. All right, everybody, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the specifications here. This gun is powered by one 12-gram CO2 cartridge and uses 177 4.5 steel millimeter BBs and 177 pellets. This gun does have a six-round BB magazine right here and it has a 10 round pellet magazine. We'll take a look at those a little more and I'll show you how to load those on the field test. Um, this is single and double action. Um, it does say semi-automatic on the box, but you know, so you can either, you know, cock your hammer back or you can just shoot it in double action. That's up to you. It is a replica of a 357 revolver. I couldn't find an exact design. So, you know, if you guys want to let me know in the comment section below, what you guys think it's an exact replica off of, but you know, in my opinion, it's a replica of a 357 revolver. Um, the FPS is claimed to be around 465 feet per second. And this gun has an overall length of about 11 inches um, totally and weighs just around two pounds. It does feel, feel pretty nice. Um, and it has a barrel length of about six inches. Um, this is one of the rare ones. It does have a rifle barrel. That's obviously rifle barrel. That's obviously because of the pellets. So, you know, you know, don't really see that too often on these. It is a hard plastic in my opinion. You know, it feels like a very hard plastic. You know, it's not too much metal. Obviously your trigger right here and your hammer, are both metal and a lot of your internal stuff going on is metal. But you know, the outside, you know, your grips and you know, your barrel, you know, that stuff don't feel metal to me. Just in my opinion, um, it does have a repeater mechanism. You know, it does use the repeater mechanism in this gun. Um, so if you do want to take a look at the sights here, the sights um, can be adjusted. You can take these off of the screwdriver right here, and you can adjust them to how you want. The, this is just your front blade here. You can't move that or fix it in any way. But, you know, this can be moved or, you know, for, you know, you can adjust it to where you need it. Um, so guys, let's go ahead and take a look at our recommended BB, CO2, and pellets. All right, everyone. So I do recommend using the Crossman um, copper BBs. That's what I've used in this gun. Had no issues. I don't mean the copper head. I just mean the Crossman BBs. Um, also, Crossman CO2 works very nicely in here. And if you want to, you can throw a little dab of Pelgon oil on your CO2. to can help it get a better seal. And I do recommend using Crossman pointed pellets, but you know, you can really use any type of pellet you want. Um, recently I used hollow point in this one. So, you know, either, you know, any type of pellet really works, you know, great. 177, of course. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at our pros and cons here. All right, everyone. So for the pros and cons here, the pros are this thing is realistic. It doesn't feel very realistic to me, but it is realistic in a sense. Um, it is awesome on CO2 usage, which is obviously around 48 to 60 something shots. That is pretty nice for CO2. Um, it does feel nice in your hand. You know, it's very lightweight. You know, it's obviously a little, maybe a little too light, but you know, it still is very lightweight and feels, feels great. It's, you know, very light, feels great. The price is very good. It's budget friendly. It's between 50 and a hundred dollars. A hundred is the most I've seen it. I think a hundred is a little too much. But, you know, this thing is fairly cheap, you know, very, you know, very budget friendly, 
you know, and obviously the fact is, you know, it takes pellets too. I mean, that's what makes this a great deal for such a, you know, great, you know, makes it such a great deal because, you know, you get, you get both these magazines included, first of all, and second of all, you know, you got pellets, you know, you can shoot pellets from this thing. So that's actually pretty decent for, you know, a $50 air revolver. That's not too bad actually. Um, and you know, it actually, this thing here was one of the first CO2 pistols that I actually had because before this thing, you know, I was more of a PCP, you know, brake barrel guy. So, you know, this really got me interested in the air pistols and, you know, I really like it. I think it's, you know, very budget friendly, like I said as well. Um, the cons about this thing, there's not really any of, with this gun because, you know, I feel that, you know, you get what you pay for, you know, obviously it's not going to be your full metal or, you know, maybe your realistic cartridges, but, you know, you're going to definitely, you know, have some fun for a great price. So, you know, there's not too many complaints about this thing. I mean, obviously it isn't full metal, but, you know, you know, you get what you pay for, but, you know, otherwise very decent gun for a very decent price. So, you know, not really too many complaints about this thing. Um, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up here. All right, everyone, so we have officially hit the end of today's video. So I do want to say a few things here in the closing. Like I said, you know, decent gun, decent price. You know, obviously, you know, maybe you won't see the, you know, you don't see the full, met, you know, the full metal design or the realistic mock cartridges. But, you know, this is a very decent gun for a very decent price. So obviously, as always, if you guys did enjoy today's video and you don't want to subscribe, you guys can always just, you know, leave a like. But if you guys did enjoy today's video and you'd like to see more videos like this, guys, you know, please consider subscribing because, you know, so you don't miss any air gun content because this content may be content you want to see, need to see. So, you know, as always, if you guys do want to help support the content that I create, you guys can do so for as little as $4.99 a month. I'll link my Patreon below um, right about now or shortly after. There should be a few videos coming up on the screen here. You guys, you know, feel free to click any one of those. And, you know, as always, guys, you know, stay safe. And, you know, I hope to see you guys all soon. Have a great rest of your day. And, you know, I'll see you guys Thursday. Bye.